approaching Old Trafford. We're soon there. We are nervous. We are sweaty palms. Bro. It's May United versus Liverpool. I am scared, man. Seriously, I don't normally come to Old Trafford and get scared, but I am right now. I'm with the flex yeah. and Mr. Legend, Mr. I love this game, Patrice Evra. I'm, I'm not nervous because F5. I'll be honest with you. Like watching a United game is like playing the roulette, so you never know <laughs> what's going to happen. I, I, I don't want to be harsh, but you know, it's against Liverpool. If we play with our hearts, you know, things can happen like in the cup game. But it was a false hope because uh, Liverpool missed many chances. And I don't think they're going to miss those yeah. chances today. So we're in a big, big trouble. I think we should all go and pray. Yeah, <laughs> we've done one prayer before we got We did. I, I, I put it all on the line for the FA Cup game in the lead up to it. I said, we're going to win. Everyone can laugh if you want. Oh, yeah. And it worked. Yeah, but I hear you, like the way the game was won and what's happened since with our confidence, and Liverpool will smell blood. So we just have to have players who are at it today. Pat, said it, Pat said it earlier, we need to play with our heart. Just mm. please give me heart and desire and I'll be happy. Please. But, but we we'll just run. I want like Marcus, if he played, to track back. Because it's not just about attacking. It's about also defending. We were like proud. Like Rio can tell you, you know when someone get a get off? Yeah. The next day? Oh my God, get we're going to laugh about <laughs> it. Like, remember yeah. when uh, Nani, uh, in uh, Anfield, so right. Jimmy Carragher give you like yes. a massive tackle, and we come all around with five day. Then uh, Scorsese, when he see Nani crying, he say. <laughs> what sort of characters we got? What sort of minerals we got? We did show in the FA Cup game that they're willing to work, they're yeah. willing to run. That was to the 120th minute. Like, but we saw I mean? character as well. Yeah, yeah Chelsea. Like, exactly. The game management. But I, I, the last thing for me is is what we've got to come up against today is Klopp. His team talk is going to be guys. I don't know if Old Trafford <laughs> losing in my last game here. So that's the worry for me. Uh, no, no, no. They're ready. They're ready. <laughs> you ain't yeah. got to worry about that. They're, just, they're ready. Just pray. <laughs> 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 There's your thumbnail, Tom. There's your thumbnail, mate. Yeah, right, Liverpool. First of all, score prediction. Three to United. I think a scoreline will be close, but I don't think the performance will be. Oh no, I think they'll win. Who's scoring? Hoyland double and a Granacho at the end. We've got what? Cambala in defence. No other backup centre half. Are there any United players that get in that Liverpool team currently? And if so, who? Mainu gets in the midfield, because I think he's unreal. Onana gets in ahead of Kelleher, in my opinion. You've got to play with your heart in these games. You've got to, obviously there's a, a, a tactical element, but we, we all used to go out there against Liverpool. It's about, you've got to win that fight early. I mean, the fans, you guys are all here today, you're going to be screaming your heads off the first five, seven minutes, no doubt. But if that team don't run and don't work, then you'll quickly go quiet. It's buzzing, it's buzzing, and it's pouring down the brain. Everyone's packed inside. We've got to perform. We've got to perform. We've got to do it. Come on, boys. Forget what's happened in the last couple of games. Just believe. Come on. We've got the ball in the net after one minute and 20 seconds. But he's offside. He's offside. He's offside. First big moment, though, but he's offside. But transition. Transitions. We'll see. Offside dogs. Crap marking from a corner. Robertson swings it in. Someone flicks it on. Luis Diaz back to post. 1 0 Liverpool. What are you Just about, man? terrible. <laughs> terrible. Set pieces. Set pieces. Been alright up until then, but. That's what happens, you don't mark your players, do you do zonal, it's a flick on from, I don't know who flicks it on, and then um, Luis Diaz at the back stick, Liverpool 1, Man United 0, 4, 4. Right, so we're losing 1-0, this is half time, we're in a lounge at the moment, we're just chilling with the guys, just chilling. But, well, we need to come back out, we need to come back out, we need to win this game, at least get a draw. But when he's going in the middle, in the pocket, Right, we're going to go for the second half. In the second half, we need more intensity, we need more commitment, more desire from everyone. Because I'll tell you what, there's only one outcome if we carry on playing like this. <laughs> Liverpool won Man United nil half time. Oh my goodness! I think Jarrell Prestes just gave him the ball. He 
soldiers outside the Senate circle. And Bruno's not telling her. We were playing absolutely awful. And Bruno's done it. He's done it. Oh my days. <laughs> oh my god. They've given us a lifeline. Can we make a game of it now? We're back in it. Because it's been all Liverpool apart from that. They've made a mistake. We've taken advantage. Game on! Go on, go on, get that shot. Oh! Oh! Corner. We're coming, come on! Oh, we nearly had it in again. Liverpool had to clear on the six yard line. Old Trap is rocking. Oh, Rafa with a good crossing. Casemiro is nearly on the end of it. He can't believe it. Shit. So stupid. He's taken down Harvey Elliott and I don't know why he's done it. It's a stonewall penalty and I don't know why he's done that. Steps up, scores. And Liverpool go and get the ball back. There's going to be a good 10 minutes left from here as well. That's the end of the game. Manchester United 2, Liverpool 2. And we've let it slip in the last 10 minutes where we could have won the game. Overall, are we lucky to get a point? Well, Liverpool will feel that they should have won the game, but at the end of the day, we got ourselves into a winning position with 10 minutes to go, and again, did something stupid to make us not win the game. But, Cobby made a fantastic goal. Uh, first half, we were absolutely shocking. They had 14 shots, we had none. It was still end to end in the, in the second half. There's still a lot of things wrong with the team. There's still so much wrong with it. But in terms of it's the Scousers and it's Liverpool coming to town and they're going for a 20th league title and we couldn't let them come and take three points on our patch, we did our job. So I suppose the real, the real uh, winners today is Arsenal. They're the ones that are happy. They uh, fought, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Still should have seen it out. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. But anyway, I'm out of here. Bit poor. I think the substitutions were poor. Um, but take a point. At least we're stopping Liverpool in the league. Do you know what I mean? Thoughts on Kobe Mainu? Spectacular. So that's it. The result: two-two. I have to be honest. Before the game, I'd have took two-two in a heartbeat, given the form, given the uh, the, the erratic results we've been getting in the performances. So, uh, listen. I, I still think we were quite lucky today. Liverpool on another day should have like scored probably four or five goals. The amount of chances they had, they created so many chances. I think first half, 13 or 14 chances or shots at goal to our zero in the first half. So they were the better team, I think, in the main of the game. But in, in football, not the best team doesn't always win. And I think today was one of those games where we got a draw. We showed a bit of character, which I don't think has been lacking in the last couple of the games. Chelsea, we showed good character, just never been able to manage the game. And I think today was the same. Showed plenty of character and morale, but there was no, never a time where he looked in control. Um, so and I think that's been the, 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 one of the main issues with this team. It's such a, a transitional game the way we're playing at the moment. Um, not being able to control big moments or large part portions of the game is really kind of is hurting us. So um, some good performances in there. I thought Harry Maguire and Willie were the two were two brilliant performances centre halves. I thought even though we did give up a lot of chances, I think the main reason is because we were so easy to, to play through our midfield defensively in transitions, especially I don't think we're there to kind of slow Liverpool down at all, uh, which meant the defenders had to play well. Dallo I thought was exceptional at times as well. Uh, but Willie, for a young centre back to in a game a, a real, real kind of fiery atmosphere. Um, Loads riding on the game after the week after the way we played against uh, Chelsea for him to come in and put in a performance like that. Talking about the young centre back, I thought he was magnificent he was, he today. Was immense. He was he, immense. And you know what I liked about him? Made the tackle sometimes, getting up, getting the crowd involved, 
emotion. You could see that little, that bit of emotion, which he understood, which I, I really liked. Do you he want was, to take that? Yeah. So you're used to that. He was, <laughs> yeah. I thought he was going to interview me. <laughs> I would have minded that. Look, Willie Cambada, that was one of the highlights of the whole yeah. game because that performance, that's basically what we are. Mm. Transitional, open in midfield. Mm. It, had, it had a lot of common themes from the first game we played against them in the FA Cup, whereby they had a lot of chances. Mm. We could have been behind by more. But as the fixture goes, we just find a way to stay alive in the game. It's not our fault. Was it Quenza gave it to Bruno? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great finish. Punish. Kobe Mainu, Jesus Christ, what a finish. Wow. What, like how he's doing that mm. at this age. But if we win the FA Cup, I'll, I'll, I'll be satisfied with that. Mm. Considering, yeah. Considering where we are at the moment, where the way things have gone with all the injuries and the way we've played inconsistently, finish the season strong. Yeah, that's all we can ask. And lastly, man of the match, was it Willy Kambala? Willy Kambala, 100%. Shout out to the young centre back, done his thing, absolute passion. Harry Maguire was solid alongside him as well. I've got to give him a special mention too. To be honest, when you look at it, the real winners, I saw Arsenal man sort of come on United. Robbie you know was saying, believe uh, United, come on, do this for us, do that. We did. Do you know what? <laughs> as much as the Arsenal fans jar me, man. They jar me. They're just, we got some here. We'd be behind, 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 behind the cameras, right? But. I want them to win it now. Same. I'm desperate for Arsenal to win it. I beg you, Arsenal, We're don't putting it back to now. them. Yeah, don't mess it up now. Yeah. It's on you now. It's on you, right? We've done you a favour today. Go and finish it off. No excuses. You've got Saliba, yeah. no, no injuries. Kai Havertz, who you wanted out of the club after the first five games. He's doing amazing. Shout, shout out to Kai Havertz. Yes. Some of the fan base that he Correct. signed for didn't even want him. Wanted him out. And you know what he's done? He said, you know what? You're going to have me. You're going to have to respect me. And he's doing his thing, so good luck to him. Arsenal, over to you. Joel, over to you. Get your little mini Premier League out. I hope you carry it, yeah? I'm on it. I'm on the trophy parade with you, mate. Go and sort it out. I want the cigar out at the end of the season. <laughs> I want the shades on. Not before the end of the season, though. Make sure you win it. Make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you get in the comment boxes. Let us know what you're thinking about today's game. And then on top of that, the title race now. What's that? Arsenal and Liverpool joint top now. Man City just below. Yeah. Which way do you think it's going to go? Make sure you subscribe to Five. This is where it's going on. Take care.